Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Marilyn and my channel's Making with Marilyn. Now I do all things crafty, but on today's video, I'm gonna show you how I make this tumbler right here. So if you're interested in seeing the process, then keep watching the video. On a recent video, I made this purse tumbler and I thought it turned out adorable. Well, when I ordered the hardware, as well as the image, there was multiple pieces of this and there were four different images. And so this one was nice and bright. Now I'm gonna make another one that's a little bit more muted. Now I thought I was recording, so I already started trimming this down, but I'll talk you through this. Now other things I'm gonna use, I have a sublimation tumbler. It's a 20 ounce skinny. I've already cleaned it off with some rubbing alcohol and then dried it with a paper towel. I have this little holder. I made this on a video. I'll put a link to this video in the video description just in case you're interested. Super easy, super cheap to make. Then I'll use some heat tape to wrap my design around my tumbler. Then I have a straight edge and a rotary tool to cut this down. And then my hardware is this chain and then a couple of pieces that go on the side. More about this when it's time to put this on. Now to put it on, I'm gonna use E6000, and then to get the E6000 on this little coffee stir stick. Now various people use different things than this, so you don't have to use E6000, watch other videos, see what other people use. I just like this. Now when it's time to put my tumbler in my tumbler press, which is right here, I'll use heat gloves, and some butcher paper around it. So when I was cutting down my design, I made sure there was absolutely no white over here. That's going to be against my tumbler, then this will wrap and go on top of it. You'll see that in a minute. But one side has to have absolutely no color on it, or no white on it. I trimmed down the other side, I trimmed down the bottom, and I was getting ready to trim the top when I noticed my camera wasn't on, so we'll go ahead and do that now. Now you can also use like the guillotine cutters or the slide cutters. My slide cutter tends to pull on the paper and then causes it to kind of ruffle up. I probably need a new blade, so that's why I use the rotary tool. All right, so here's how I like to do this. I like to have my cup flat on the table and then just make sure that it's going to fit okay. And it is. So then I turn my cup over because I want the top of the tumbler and the top of the paper to be just about even. Now remember you have to make sure that you have the right side against your cup or the correct side against your cup. There's no white here, there's a little here. So this has to be up against the tumbler. All right, so my design is a little bit tall, but that's okay. I am gonna cut off just a little bit really quickly. I don't like to have a lot of excess paper above or below my tumbler. Now I should have made my design just a little bit shorter because I did lose a little of the stitching. But that's okay, it's at the bottom. I wouldn't want to trim it off the top. I think the bottom is less important, so that's why I cut it off the bottom. All right, so we'll start this over. That is a much better fit. Okay, so I have it basically the way I want it. Let me get my holder. And the first thing I'm going to do is just put one piece of tape down. Now I'm going to put it on the piece of paper that's on the top, then pull that really snug, and then press it down. I want a little bit more paper up at the top. So you can just put your hand in it and kind of push on the paper. I like that just a little bit better. 
So without going into a full tutorial on wrapping and taping, because I've done that so many times, basically I'm going to tape the top here, the bottom here, making sure it's really tight. Then I'll go around the top and the bottom. So I'm going to fast forward through that. If you have questions, please leave them in the comment section. And again, if you're having any issues with your taping or ghosting or white patches, check out some of the videos where I actually go into a lot of detail about taping. Now this is ready. I'm going to go ahead and preheat my tumbler press, get the camera angle turned around, and we're going to go ahead and get this sublimated. Now my press is preheated. It's ready to go. Make sure you pay attention to what your instructions say so that you preheat it up correctly, or if you do it otherwise, you at least know you're taking the risk that something might happen. All right, so here's my tumbler, and I have a piece of butcher paper that I cradle it in. So I'll just put my tumbler down in here and then I want to make sure that my seam is either at the front or the back because I feel like that's where you get the best pressure. So for two reasons, you want the seam to have good pressure and the main design is opposite of the seam and you want that to have really good pressure. All right, the last thing I used this for was a sippy cup and I didn't get it set to the right pressure. There we go. Now the other thing I want to note is this is Celsius, so if it looks like it's not hot enough, that's why. Now on my last press, I'm going to put the seam at the bottom and press for just 20 seconds. Now I'm not going to reset the timer, I'm just going to watch and go ahead and open this at 30. And then before I unwrap it all the way, I want to go ahead and peek at it. It is still extremely hot. Ooh. Oh, that is beautiful. That is so pretty. Now I see something I did wrong. I didn't get it quite all the way to the top. Or I didn't have it taped perfectly. But that's okay. That is pretty close. The other thing is I can take my paper and I can put the brown up against that. I can either just barely put it in my heat press you know, just this end, or in this case, it's so small, I'll probably just use my Cricut Easy Press Mini. Matter of fact, you'll probably see it and go, oh my goodness, just leave it. It's okay. But that's just, that's just me. That's what I do. But isn't that pretty? Okay, so here's my hardware again, and the only thing I need right now are the little handle things. Now when these come to you, they're in two parts. So there's a little screw inside. The first one of these I did, I just put this in by itself, or I put it on by itself, because I thought it'd be lighter, might work better. Then I discovered I didn't really have it at the right direction for my handle to hang straight sideways. So this time I'm going to go ahead and start with it 
with this handle piece attached. Now I'm only going to do one of these at a time. That way they have time to dry. It's not going to be fully cured by the time I do the other one. But I'm going to put it on and I'm going to wait maybe two hours or so. Then I'll do the other one. So what I want to try to do is get it right on the side. And it looks like that would be about right here. So I'll go ahead and turn this up. And I think I'll put a little piece of tape right there to kind of keep my place. Now I'm going to put it a little lower than that. But that's about where I want it from side to side. Yeah, I think that looks fine. So I have my E6000. And I don't want to hold it over the cup in case some drips. So I'm just going to put a little bit out on my coffee cup stir stick. And actually, it's probably better if I just put it on the back of my hardware. That's what I'll do. Now again, I want this handle to be sideways. So I'm going to make sure it is. And then I can put this really where I want it. Maybe about even with the little horse wagon, whatever that is. So really about where my tape is. So I'm just going to lift up my tape and put this down. Now I'm going to put some firm pressure against that just for about 10 seconds or so. And then after I do that, I need to look at it, make sure it's straight. It's not quite straight, so now I'm just going to twist it ever so slightly. And then a tiny bit more. And I made a boo-boo. Let me get this closer to my face. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So, again, just going to press on it for a few seconds. Make sure it hangs pretty well, and it does. So now I'm going to leave that there for, like I said, maybe two hours. Then I'll do the other side. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've put both pieces of my hardware on. And so the last thing I need to do is just attach my chain. The chains that I ordered, and I got these from Amazon, so check out the link. You just push on this metal piece and then slip it on your hardware. So here's how I would have my tumbler, you know, when I'm drinking out of it in my office or at home or wherever, the chain hangs down. It can go up too, but I am not about to carry this full of liquid by the chain. To me, this is decorative. It's really not meant to function that way. So with my lid, here's the final product. I think it's adorable. I absolutely love it. So thanks so much for joining me, and until my next video, bye-bye. Now let me make sure that this is about the right size. Uh-oh.